we have arrived at Formula Fast Karting for SRK Sign. So here we are at uh, Formula Fast, and look at all these SRK drivers. But this is practice. This is the day before, and all of these drivers are here for practice. Isn't that nice? Had a cheeky practice. That's not terrible, is it? Bear in mind, I haven't driven this track in four years. So we had a practice, and. Um, I'm glad I'm not racing tomorrow. Actually, my biggest problem now is I have really smelly feet, so I'm a little bit worried to take these shoes off. And anyone around me is in big danger. Come to the Bush Tucker Trail. Sam's gonna smell this boot. Sam's gonna smell it. <laughs> I can smell it from here. <laughs> We're waiting for food. Can we go? Can we go? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, it's raining. These track conditions are gonna be tricky tomorrow, aren't they? This is where we're going later. We are going to Pop, Pop World. World! Just to confirm, we absolutely aren't doing that. <laughs> we are late! Flame Sam again! All right, let's see what uh, strange hotel room Sam has booked me. That easy hotel in Milton Keynes. I don't know how to work this. Oh, we could probably do with a light. How do I do that? If I, uh... Oh my goodness, it's a palace. It's an absolute palace. Ooh, very exciting. One toilet, that's pretty good. I'll probably only need one. Well, the good news is that it's absolutely boiling in this room and there's no window. So you know all those times you always go on about buying caps and mugs and stuff like that? It's because if you don't buy them, Sam will put us in places like this. So please buy our mugs and caps so I don't have to go and sleep in the toilet like i actually cannot stress like how much this room is like a prison cell i mean i've never been to prison but this is exactly why i assume it would be like well you got the tv up there i suppose that's a luxury but you got just a bed and the walls and no window <laughs> maybe i have to go knock over there and wait for them to pass me some food under the door and uh, hopefully i'll be allowed some exercise so it's just me and my pongy shoes for the night. Alright, up bright and early, which uh, I, I am told is 6.30, but because there's no natural light in this room, it's difficult to tell, right? It could be, it could be 11.30. I don't know, I could have missed the entire event, to be honest. Anyway, it was fine since I stopped whinging, the room was fine. There was an aircon unit. As usual, I just needed to think about what I was doing, so Easy Hotel was okay. Ah, good it is daytime. Somewhat, anyway. Milton Keynes is a very odd place. Everywhere is just a tower block. Okay, and now the best part is that Sam's got to explain what the event is, and he's very tired. Um, drive in circles, do a pit stop, and then drive in circles. Oh. And that's about it. My brain can't function this early in the morning. <laughs> that's great, that's great, Sam, thank you. <laughs> we'll explain properly when we get to the track. Will we, though? No, because <laughs> I'll forget. What a lovely photo. Well done. Oh, it's a video. This is race control for the day. So we've got a good view of the track. Got some, uh, got some cameras. Uh, replay incidents. Got the podium over here as well. Got a big old spectator area over there through there. And that's full of people that I don't want to talk to. No, I'm kidding. I do want to talk to everybody. <laughs> Please use toilets instead of urinals where possible. Oh, right, that, that explains a lot. Like, I've just been trying to poop in the urinal. The way that we're running today, we are running the uh, junior event first on the alternate layouts. And then we're going to run the same event for the sprint. Then we're going to go back to the normal layout that Formula Pass normally has. And uh, do the junior event and the sprint event again. And then the top drivers from the sprint are going to go through a super final at the end of the evening to win the overall indoor karting challenge and they will also win free entry to the BRKC next year which is a big one day or three day event held here at Portland Fast once a year. So a long day, a little bit different to what we normally do. So let's see how everybody does today. 
welcome to the SRK Indoor Karting Challenge. We are about to go on a track walk. Come with us and we'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so this is uh, straight away as you cross the line. We have a, uh, we're on the alternate layout today, so we're going to veer off onto the left, straight away into an airfield. So follow me, I'll show you. So we have a small braking zone into a very, very tight entry to the hairpin. If you can make an overtake here, I'll be very impressed. Now as you come around from that tight hairpin, you're going to go over to the wall, and then you're going to have to immediately come over this way because you've got another left-hand turn. So if you stay over there for too long, you're going to find yourself struggling around the exit. Now as you can see, we've got a very unique corner here. As you come around that first hairpin as we just discussed, you want to stay nice and tight to this barrier here. You've got to be very careful not to hit the wall as you're exiting this tiny little uh, apex here. As you come over to this corner, you'll notice you've got another hairpin you need to set up for, so you're going to have to move over to the left and prepare to come around that hairpin there. Oh yeah, I know this next bit. Here we go, off to the left-hand side. Uh, what? Oh, maybe not. I guess you go over there. After you've come around this hairpin here, you've got another hairpin immediately. And again, another very tight exit. This could well be an overtaking space either here or here. So it's really important to get this corner correct so you can carry the speed onto a long straight down towards the hairpin down there, which will be the uh, best overtaking opportunity. But making sure you get as much speed onto the straight will be the most important part of this track. So as you come down the straight, hard braking zone going into this hairpin here. Now it's about a 45 degree angle upon the entry into the corner. Be careful. This is the spot that everyone likes to overtake. As you come around the bottom of the straight and around the hairpin, you want to run all the way over to this wall here. But be very careful again because it will pull you over to this direction and you want to miss the wall just ever so slightly but then immediately come back in. You don't want to let it push you out too far. And then continuing on, as you come around, you'll notice that your apex here, you'll miss the wall over here by a couple of inches, leave a little gap, and you have preparation to take the final turn. You want to try and make sure you get in nice and close to the uh, apex there and again try and carry as much speed out as long as possible. Again, this is probably the uh, second best place to overtake on the track. So uh, you want to take a little bit of a wider end to just come into there and that leaves you open to somebody diving at the inside. Run right out towards the wall on the outside of the west side to really maximise the speed you can take from that. Slight hold up, got oh, well, a barrier did, come apart, but but no big deal, those things happen. We've got lots of contingency in place. That circuit's taking an absolute battering at the moment. So one of the uh, risks of the alternate layout then is uh, just the barrier's taking a little bit of a different impact to normal. So one of the things we have at uh, this round is uh, pit stops. So you've got to come into the pits during every race. You've got to stop at this little black box over here as a laser beam. And uh, when you stop, the light over here will turn um, green after a couple of seconds, and you've got to move forward. And then when that one is clear, that gate, if you like, you move forward to this one, where the same thing happens, and you wait for the light to go green, and then you power off again. So it's just a bit of, like, extra strategy. And uh, if you get it wrong, you've got to come and do the pit stop again. So we've seen that a couple of times already this morning, and uh, it costs you about 12, 15 seconds extra if you get that wrong. So you really need to get it right. Oh, we got our first instance of someone not pitting. And it's Mr. Williams. To be fair, counting to one is pretty difficult. Frederick Navarro, winner of the junior event. Hi, uh, Please tell us how your race went. It was awesome, actually, and it was all down to the team as well, helping me with the pit. And yeah, I had some great pace on track, and yeah, it was a good race all in all. Which team are you with then? VSR, right here. <laughs> Nice, that's good. And uh, you're only the second overseas driver to win in SRK, and you're the first junior as well, so well done. That's awesome. Yes, can, you, can you back it up this afternoon, this question? I hope so, but I'm looking to help out my teammates as well. That's good. Well, well done, once again, good job. Well, final event's underway, and uh, championship leader's already been taken out in heat three, <laughs> so it's going to be one of those events, I think. But penalties are being dished out. Oh, Sam's doing well. Oh. No, it's Ryan Taylor wearing Sam's sweaty helmet. I wonder if he charged extra for that. Just investigating from the last race whether Sam passed before the line, which is the rule that we made up 
and it would it would just make my day if he did because then he'd get a penalty and I would laugh for the rest of my life. So fingers crossed. Talk me through this hilarious moment in the SRK indoor challenge where you just choked a, a position away. Go on, you can. <laughs> this is okay, Sam. <laughs> okay, Sam's a little bit upset still, so we'll, we'll get him later on. All right, so Tom Subrick dominated his heat and then got the pit stop wrong and got disqualified. So what happened? It just went down the <laughs> show. Sure. <laughs> oh, no, it was well, a really good try. Okay. Like, from seven as well. Yeah, I know. Dominated all the way into the last lap. And then pissed off. That's the way it goes. Winner of the E final. Yeah. This has to be your highest ever accolade, do you, Ollie? How, How do you feel? Half asleep. Half asleep. <laughs> I think you've done really well, Ollie. Well done. I had a power nap before the final, sir. So. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Seth Miller on pole position. Why don't you tell us how you're doing so far? Yeah, it's been a good day. My first time um, getting pole position, so I'm quite happy. Got first and a second in my heat, so it's been good. I've enjoyed doing the alternate layout and uh, got the taste to, to match it. So yeah, yeah. You, haven't, the final. you haven't won a race yet, have you? No, um, I've had a second yeah. before, but uh, I've never won. So that is the but, most I've ever heard out of you, Seb. Thank you for telling me that, Dad. Hope you're watching this. Because Seb just talked for more than five seconds, so I think five it. seven podiums so far. All so. right. <laughs> Oh, I did. I hope you win as well. Alright, good luck. <laughs> I give a shout out to the old guy that won them here. And he just started asking about what's going on. And I'm, I assumed he was with a, a driver, but no, he was just some random old fella who was just wondering what was going on. So I hope you enjoyed watching SRK for 10 minutes. Wherever you are. Okay, I am here with a second place in the junior second event today, Johnny Franken for the best team on the grid track to rest. How has your day been? Um, well, the morning went all right. And um, a bit of a dodgy start, and then after, in the afternoon, got everything sorted, and then clamped down on the second place. Uh, after a little incident, I had to make the most of it and then went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the second, that was the uh, the second race where you dived for second place on the last lap, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Uh, what, what, do you uh, what do you see there? You just dived for the gap? Um, well, I kind of saw Henry on the mid, on the inside, so I just kind of followed him through. So, yeah, it's kind of had to follow to get everything right. Yeah. And you're up to third in the championship as well now. You're about 60, uh, 60 points off, so that's oh. nice. Well. Very good job again, nice hat. Thank and, you. Uh, best record in the record so I've ever had the record. Well. Uh, the final results from that race, and then I'm going to go through the super final lineup, and then you can either stay and watch or you can go home and not talk to us forever until the next round. But thank you once again for everybody coming. It's been a really good day. I've enjoyed everything, risky everything. And um, do it again as well. And today also got the fastest lap on the last lap as well from BSRA, that's Sam Skater! Hey, Sam, you got promoted from SRK2 to SRK1. How does it feel? It feels really good, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no more trophies, obviously, now. Well, I don't know what that actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, that doesn't mean you should get slightly better grid drawing. I still have to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I got the gold trophy earlier. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I haven't got one then. anymore. I can't trophy yeah. anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, no, yeah. Super happy with it. Good luck. To in 10th place, first one in the uh, Super Final 211 BSRB, Chris Ball. Well done. Two hundred and sixteen points. The only A, Zach Swanor. Zach Swanor. In eighth place, two hundred and twenty-seven. All fast racing is Joe Peters. Seventh place, two hundred and forty-one. Emperor Swift for A. Ben Chip. Sixth place, two thirty-eight. Also Emperor Swift Cooper A. Russell Endy. Two fifty. Fifth place, also Emperor Swift Cooper A. Is Lewis Manley. And the top four, two seven nine points. All fast racing is Ryan Taylor. Third place, 291 BSRA, Brad Shepherd. Second place, 295 BSRA is Sam Slater, which means your first pick, 298, Sebastian Miller. So there's 10 drivers who are going to be called to the pit.
So here we are for the super final of the SRK Indoor Kart Challenge. These are the top 10 drivers across the entire day, snaking their way on the rolling start. It's Chris Ball on pole from Sam Slater and Lewis Manley. Off they go. Let's see how they do on this first lap. Welcome to the official winner's interview in Sam's car. <laughs> Sam, you won. Yeah. Well was, done. Yeah, fun, fun race. Yeah. It was good. How, no, I enjoyed how did your race yeah. go? Yeah, really, really good. Really, really good. I mean, qualified second, it was enough. Um, had a good choice of car, so a good day. And uh, left everyone for dead. You did. You did well. <laughs> to be fair, you did well. It pains me to... It... <laughs> you did well. <laughs> Enjoy. But uh, how do you think the, the event went? Yeah, really good. I mean, obviously, uh, a few unhappy people, as there always will be, but I think um, I think the majority of people really, really enjoyed it, and I think they'll all come back. So, mm. yeah, yeah. I thought it was good. I thought it was yeah, good. I enjoyed that today. That was fun. It was, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, actually. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I think You my, didn't even race. I didn't race, no. That's probably why you enjoyed it. I did. I think my hand's been in front of the camera the whole time, so... Yeah, possibly. I'll work on that, but... Um, <laughs> Sam, do an outro. Mm. I don't know outro. what to say. Um, Where have you been, buddy? Peeing. Oh.